Hello, welcome to another spooky Let's Play playthrough thing. Ooh. But now, uh, uh, doing a little something a little different here this time. Uh, with this particular playthrough, it's um, it's live actually. So, well, live in terms of recording it live, but um, just like how I handled the Flash Friday stuff. But yeah, um, we're doing we're doing this live. And, uh, the game we're going to be playing through is Doki Doki Literature Club for the month of October because spooky games. Now, you may look at it and say, Doki Doki Literature Club, how is this spooky? However, if you read that description below, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Should be a tall tale, uh, you know, that should be the first time to say, wait a minute, why is this kind of game giving me this kind of warning? Is there, like, is it because of sex scenes? Which, that's uh, quite possible, but there's no sex scenes here, which is, uh, you know, great. You can actually play through, uh, do a playthrough of this on YouTube. Well, you can still, well, well, we'll get there when we get there. But, um, I already know about the twists of this game. Because, uh, for every playthrough I do for the channel, I, my, uh, my requirement is I have to beat the game and be familiarized with it. So I know about everything. I even knew I, I knew about the twist even before the game because of word of mouth and just how popular Doki Doki Literature Club did got. Um, but before before I played it, I knew about the twist. However, I didn't know the full details, like what you know what that entails. But now I'm very familiarized with the game. So yeah. So before moving on, um, to all the two who watches my playthroughs out there um this game is it has disturbing imagery so fair warning right now if you can't handle it i'm, I'm sorry just try to avoid this <laughs> but let's let's uh let's just move on with the game here individual suffer from depression may have da, da, da. it is nice that they actually give you a warning for this so they, they, they are aware that hey you know you're you're rather play something that you might not be okay with you agree that you're at least 13 of age? Da, 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 da. I agree. And now we bring back to the world of color. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Alright, Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I'm gonna go to settings here real quick. We're going to turn down the music just a tad bit here. Please enter your name. Alright. So what should be your name? I think we're just going to go simple and just put... Uh, hmm. Ah, why not? We'll just do, we'll just do me. Uh, we're gonna put this on auto. So that way it'll be just like watching a movie. Uh, okay, there it goes. That's right, you can adjust the auto speed. Oh, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take auto, though. Well, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave it on. But yeah, Doki Doki Literature Club. It's, a. Uh, it's a very, really unique game that I think it executed it very well. The creator, creators, went out of the way they wanted to do something different, and Doki Doki Literature Club is definitely different. Because uh, it, is, it is a game. It, it, it's a video game. Who would have known? Ooh. I almost feel better off running away. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. But here's one of our one of four girls of the game. Sayori, I believe is how you pronounce her name. Basically, she's like the because uh, these got these girls are like tropes and whatnot. But she is based off the the best friend, childhood friend trope. Da 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 da. -da. You think about ignoring me? Say like, that's mean. Well, you're mean. Uh, 
uh, you actually have different settings here. Like, you can look at the history. You can skip anything you've already seen. Save, load, all that good stuff. Now, see, uh, when it comes to visual novel games, it's kind of hard. Like, there's a, there's a reason why people don't recommend you doing a playthrough of visual novel games. Um, unless there's, like, some kind of thing to them, like, some people say don't do the Ace Attorney games, but there's enough stuff going on with Ace Attorney that you can discuss it. But when it's a visual novel, you know, similar to Doki Doki Literature Club, it's got, it's kind of hard to do a playthrough of it. Because you gotta be, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna be really terrible at this playthrough myself, too. Because really, at the end of the day, it's just a, a picture storybook. But Doki Doki Literature Club does have some things. Uh, it's good for blind let's plays. It really is. Uh, if that's your thing. Now, I've heard about Doki Doki Literature Club through word of mouth. Uh, and because of word of mouth, I knew about the twists. I, I, I wasn't told specifically what the twist was. But that it turns meta and whatnot. And from there, I kind of pieced the tastes together. It's like, oh, okay. It's going to be like this really dark game. And whatnot. But after playing it and actually, you know, seeing the details unfold before my eyes. And get the full story. I was like, okay, yeah, I can see where this this is going to happen here. Da 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 da. Like, like some of the stuff, when it's building up right to the moment, you know what's going to happen. But still, the game catches you off guard if you're not familiar with it. Basically, at this point, Sayori's trying to get us to join a club. And she's like, hey, why don't you join our club? I was like, alright, no, I don't want you worrying about me, I suppose. She worried about us, we worry about her, because we're childhood friends. And Sayori is best girl. Actually, I'm probably going to say that for every girl, but anyway. No, I don't do the whole waifu thing. But they're cutesy, you know. They're cutesy little girls, you know. That sounded weird. I apologize about that. No, but the characters, I mean, they are interesting. They really are. Uh, they actually do have some death to them. Um... And among other things. Everything inside of her head. And we're at school. The school day is as ordinary as ever. If And it's only before I knew it. I'm going to try not to read it. Because that's another thing with doing uh, playthroughs of visual novel games. People do read it. And after a while, it can, it can get out of grading on not only you, but the viewer as well. Clubs. But of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to read some of it. To start with the anime club. Me, personally, I... Well, actually, that's not true. I was actually, um, in middle school, I was actually in the book club myself. It was kind of a joke, truth be told. We really didn't read anything. And that just really, at the end of the day, became just like, a, hey, let's hang out for a couple hours after school in the library kind of thing, rather than... No matter how much the teacher tried, yeah, there was actually a teacher thing. Uh, tried, and by try I mean one attempt at a meeting. And shortly after, the meetings just kind of stopped. Which, you know, it happens. But other than that, I was in school, I... The schools around here really didn't have clubs, per se. Like, I was kind of surprised when that book club was a thing in middle school. I mean, yeah, there was, like, you know, stuff like JR, um, ROTC, Army stuff and whatnot after school. And, of course, sports. But in terms of clubs like this, it wasn't really a thing around here. And, unfortunately, I didn't go to any of the colleges or technical colleges. Um, but from what I heard from my buddies, 
couple buddies who did go. Um, there was clubs, and there was even an anime club. One of my buddies told me that he joined. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. 99% sure. Don't know about that 1%. That's that's the unknown factor. She inherited the title of Vice President. Big Boss. Guaranteed to be le even less. Basically, our character is kind of reluctant about joining the literature club, but Sayori kind of talks us into it, and later on we're going to see the other girls. I needed a whole sad puppy eye thing. I would bring in a new member. Oh, that's Sayori. Making promises she should not have. She made cupcakes and everything. So well, she did make cupcakes, so we have to go. I will stop the auto if something interesting comes up. But yeah, I figured it was best to have it on autoplay. So that way, you know, we're at least we're we're keeping it going. We're we're going through it. And like I said, I'll pause when anything uh, interesting pops up. Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Haven't we all sold our soul for a cupcake? But yeah, this is uh, my first time doing a visual novel game. Um, while this is going on, my history of visual novel games... Uh, oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, so... For the longest time, visual novels was something I just kind of strayed away from. If we're counting Ace Attorney, then I played Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney would technically be my first visual novel game, and this is the DS version. I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Oh, here's Girl 1, my favorite character. <laughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. So I already always say nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? A boy? What kind of blasphemous is this? And Girl 3. Welcome to the club. Our words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible cute girls. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, going back to topic here. Well, off topic. Going back to the topic of off topic. If you want to say something, say it. You're cute. I want to date you all. Is that legal? Natsuku. I'll probably butcher these names. The girl with the sour hour too, whose name is apparently not too good, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Which, actually, I'm not too sure. She's the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> I wonder why she gets moody. Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. Always full of energy. I mean, look at her. She's just absolutely full of energy. Now, I know there's a meme with her, uh, Natsuku over here that, uh... Oh, and this is Yuri. Uh, we'll be getting more into her personality in a bit. Possibly. But, uh, Natsuku... I know there's a meme with the uh, Doki Doki Leader uh, where there's buff Natsuku... Which I think was a joke, but somebody actually made a bootleg game of Doki Doki Literature Club on the Android Store and used that buff buff thing as part of character, which is pretty funny. Monica here. It's great to see you again, Dish. See, the funny thing is... We're gonna... Or, um... I'm gonna sh well, let's see. I, I, I'm. It's gonna be 50/50 with spoilers throughout this uh, playthrough. But we, I actually don't know if she's talking about in the game that she have a seen. Uh, it's been a little bit seeing us, 
Or if she's actually meaning us, the player. Yes, I know, I just kind of just spoiled it right there. Anyway. I'll get the cupcakes. She'll get the cupcakes. I got a little too excited. She got she gets excited about getting those cupcakes. Cause everybody knows he goes well with cupcakes. Alright. So while this is going on, um uh, going back to my history with uh visual novels, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, would be my first visual novel game I ever played. Thinking about it. Off the top of my head. Uh, and funny enough, uh, the first one's the only one I ever played with the Ace Attorney series. Now, in terms of, like, the really anime stuff, I'm gonna reveal you to a secret. Like, uh, for the longest time, I was, you know, I just didn't have an interest in the visual novel stuff, because it's like, oh... Uh, you know, uh, it's just, you know, most of it, you know, nine times out of ten, you know, they kind of, you know, sex games and whatnot. What's that? You know, not all games are. And some of them are really good, you know, if, if they have sex scenes. They pro it, it can be tastefully done. Like, it's like an emotional thing. But the ones where, you know, it's like sex, 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 sex. It's like, hey, let's have sex, da 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 this playthrough is gonna be so weird to talk about. Ah, uh, Jesus. What did I get myself into? No, oh, let's keep going, Dish. Let's keep going. Just hurry and take one. With my teeth. My tooth. My teeth with your tooth is... It's delicious. It tastes the soul. But then I decided to finally say, you know what? Let's play one of these. Let's see how it's like. And of course, the one I pick for the first one I've ever played is uh, Let's Be Meow Meow. So <laughs> that was an interesting trip. I beat that. That was uh, that was definitely interesting. And then after that, uh, you know, some just came and go. They kind of they just they just kind of run together. Truth be told. Because uh, some of them rely on the same tropes. Some, you know, some do stick out with some of the elements. Because there was this one, I can't remember the name of it. But, um... Uh, it was kind of like a, uh... Investigation kind of thing. Which was interesting. Um... My favorite, though, in terms of these visual novel games... Has, is Big Bang Age. Love that game. Wish I could do a playthrough of it. it but, it's just... That's not going to work out, unfortunately. Because that RPG is fantastic. That's the thing, too. It's not only a visual novel, it's an RPG. Love that system. It's And, and it actually has a really good main character, Rogue. Uh, people might be a bit familiar with Big Bang Age through the fighting game Big Bang Beat, which is based off of Big Bang Age. And what's funny is with the Big Bang Beat games, there's actually so much more characters than they use... Because they do the school chapter for those games for the most most part. And there's like so many other characters after that too that would make really interesting fighting game characters. But yeah, um, in terms of visual novels, I haven't played a lot, I suppose. I dabbled in a few of them, but some of them are really, really bad and some of them are really, really gross. But where I stand with it, I have nothing wrong with the, you know, people who play them. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. When it comes to it, me personally, there should be a point towards the... Towards the, um... What am I trying to say? I'm already sounding like a creep through this playthrough, so I might as well just go full force. And relief. Smiles and relief, everybody. Raises that eyebrow. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, Sayori, maybe. 
I was afraid of this question. This question, it terrified me. Well, I haven't joined any club yet, and it's already seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everybody. Hooray! But yeah, uh, visual novels. <laughs> but yeah, I have nothing against people who play these games. I have nothing against, you know, having sex scenes in the games as long as long as the story is interesting, not gross, and it's just funny that people, you know, there are there are visual novel games where it's literally sex and nothing else. Um, as long as there's a, there, there's got to be story to those scenes, in my opinion. Another one I played that was, um, actually kind of similar to, uh, popularity when it came to, well, Doki Doki Literature Club is obviously the most popular one between the two, but, um, there's this one, it's, I guess it's been a couple years now, where I, I'm, can't remember the name off the top of my head, but it was based on a, um, concept idea where the girls was... Uh, trying to put this as a polite way as possible or handicapped in some way and you played as a character who had heart problems and had to attend a school and there you go uh, people probably know what I'm talking about but I just can't remember the name at the moment I played through that one, that was pretty nice uh, only really played through one character well, no, a couple characters I didn't play, beat that game 100% Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Basically, Monica here is just trying to talk about uh, how literature club is kind of hard to get people recruited. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and exciting. But it's in, it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. Yeah, the school festival is coming up. So, you know, as a club, we gotta put something together. Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone that's enthusiastic really agrees. They're all on the same page, every single one of these girls. Must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. I just really don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm of literature. Yeah, as a, as a character, we're really not into the whole literature stuff. Ah, uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. He likes the mangoes. Hey, it suddenly perks up. She's like, what? I heard manga. But she keeps quiet. Not much reader, I guess. Well, that could change. It's true, you know, that can always change. Because, uh, me personally, when it comes to books, I like to say I'm a reader, but in all actuality, I haven't really read that much books. If it's a series I'm really into, though, I will definitely read it. Which goes to show that no matter the media, as long as it's good and it's, you know, it's your cup of tea. Speaking of teacup, if it's your cup of tea kind of thing, you know, one will get into it despite what media it is. Because uh, Harry Potter, believe it or not, was, uh, well, probably more believable than a lot of things. But Harry Potter um, was what got me into reading and... What I like about that series is it, it grew up with you. Like, I was just at that right age where each book would grow up as I grow up. 
good, fantastic series. Of course, you know, over the age, uh, over the years, there are a couple of problems that shows up in that series, but it's a good time. I should reread that series again. Um, unfortunately, I had I had read the Twilights. Um, that that was something. But you know, I like a lot of things. Me too, Yuri. I, I like a lot of things too. Stories with these psychological elements usually see the immerse me as well. Um, but yeah, I read books, but I, and I got some over here that some in the backlog that I need to read. But I do like my, my mangas too. I, I, I definitely like mangas. Uh, got me a couple. Got me a couple. I got a couple. Uh, comic books is also something I like, but that's more like uh, when it comes to comics, I'm more of a Marvel guy. But I'm not uh, too into the whole main Marvel stuff. I like the, like, when it comes to comic books, I like the odd and bizarre and Scooby comics. I collect Scooby-Doo comics because, of course, I do. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. So, well, how am as gentle as you? But I like, I like the dark stuff. But if a story makes me think or take me to another world, I really can't put it down. That's that's what people like. When it comes to books, you know, some people will say books are better than video games. Books are better than uh, movies. A lot of people will actually say, the, like, whenever a movie's based off a book, that the book is better because when it comes to books, you're using your imagination. And so while you, there's stuff going on in the book, you're putting the pictures to that book. And when you're seeing a movie. You know, even if it's a one-for-one, one, the movie is showing you what their interpretation of that scene is. So, you know, your perspective of that scene might be different from what the director's perspective is of the movie based off the book. More so if the movie, uh, like, changes a lot of things about the book, but... Then you're getting into the whole discussion of tr um, scenes transitioning better in different medias, like... Uh, movies based off video games has to do it differently because it's just it, it just it's just two it's two different medias you have to work it differently like you can't just um, your cupcakes your poems everything you do is just as cute as you are oh that's a, that's adorably creepy I'm not I just have pink hair. You write your own poems? I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Ya yeah, boy, you. I think that's impressive. I mean, if you ask me, I think it's pretty impressive that you would write poems just given your, your uh, stature. See, this, uh, this is making fun of the, you know, the whole visual novel tropes. And, and it's an own spin to it. Now, writing stories has always been something I've been really interested in. And I have wrote a couple of things. Nothing come, you know... Like, I have finished some stuff, but it's definitely... It, it, like, if I'm ever going to publish it... Or release it or what have you. It's definitely going to need some rewrites and redone. You know. Basically going to need a fresh new start. But I'm always telling myself. Oh I need to write this. I need to write that. I have so many cool ideas. Or me personally I think they're cool. That I just want to write down. And it's just. It's a combination of laziness. Just time. And what not. Um, uh, about a week ago, though, I am set telling myself, okay, I need to force myself to do this, because I really do want to write these ideas down, and as we speak, I am currently bringing back this old idea I had, and I'm going to give it another shot, so we'll see how it is, and, um, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe one day I'll release it on Amazon or something, I don't know, let's go home and write our own poem. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. 
<laughs> do we have to? Yeah, let's do it! Oh, that's Iori. Always, uh, always so energetic. A strength in the bond of this club. Isn't that right, Dish? At me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Just one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sorry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... And that's when everybody gives you those sad puppy dog eyes. With dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> you all honestly if I was put in this uh, in this situation I would probably feel bad at joining the club but you know I would I would give it a shot but of course our main character here is a more like oh girls they're cute girls say so, yeah today it's price of order to spend every day with these beautiful girls and they, even they, uh, later on he's like maybe I could get closer to one of them it's definitely that whole visual novel thing going on. Yes, I'm so happy. Now, um... For this playthrough, I'm gonna try to show everything off as possible. But for this first particular time around, all we're gonna do is just... Just what I would naturally just say, you know, just, just we're just gonna play it. We're just gonna autopilot it, autopilot, and just see what happens. And then afterwards, after the initial playthrough, we're gonna go back and try to do some other stuff. Okay, everyone, I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Hooray! Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Look over at me once more. This I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? At least you're mediocre, dude. I mean, you could be like my writing skills and be like... I like pie very, 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 very much, or something like that. I actually don't know if my mouse is visible or not. Oh well, if it is, it is. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? I mean, we do live right next to each other, I mean, you know, just saying. But she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the class, the club room, and make our way home. That's a very nice home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah, he's kind of got a mindset going here. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Oh, yes, sir. Good fortune will definitely find you. And I guess the start... 
that starts with a writing a poem tonight.